There we go. Right there? You all admiring the outfit? Gymshark top, jacket underneath, red shoes. Don't match at all, but it's okay. It's how Texans dress in the cold. Someone's cold. Now it's having the time of her life here by herself at the dark park. <laughs> it's like 60 degrees and we're just freezing. It's like 40. It's like 50, probably. 40. It's like 50. Okay. We're about to check. Here, make a bet. 52. I think that one's a 37 right now. Alright guys, just got my tires fixed and uh, went to stop by the tanning place because today's Tuesday and on Friday I have the photo shoot in Austin, Texas. It was Thursday, I moved it to Friday morning, uh, which will be good because Friday we're going to Austin, then San Antonio, and then Seguin on, uh, I think San Marcos or Seguin on Saturday morning and then back to Houston on Saturday night. So a lot of traveling this weekend. Um, really excited for the photo shoot. Uh, woke up at 164 this morning. 164. <laughs> it's crazy low. Um, as I've said, I said in the last video, I am kind of depleting this week. I'm doing very low carb, uh, lots of cardio, just so I can look my best on the shoot. And as soon as that shoot's done, gonna increase my food back up and uh, aim for about a pound a week for these last few weeks. But I'm um, feeling really good. You know, cardio sucks. Kind of having low carb sucks, but it's only temporary. It's only in like what four or five days I'm doing it, and so it's really not. I don't feel like it's affecting me really. Um, so yeah. All right, November 18, 2014. Uh, it's about 7 p.m. right now, and Chelsea from Chelsea Lifts is coming to Houston today, and she's been like going through flights and stuff, uh, back and forth. Just landed, and she just got to the hotel. So, uh, gonna go pick her up, and go to the gym. Been sacking out some chicken I cooked up, and a few of these pop chips, barbecue flavor potato chips. Really good macros on those. About to go to Sugarland, get Chelsea, work out. I think we're hitting back and biceps. Honestly, my entire body's pretty tight. I've worked out the last four days in a row. Um, gonna power through it, gonna work out tomorrow, and then take Thursday off from the gym completely. Shoot Friday. This song is absolutely badass. Mind over matter. And uh, here at the hotel, picking Chelsea up. She's actually coming down right there. I don't know if you guys can see. So we're gonna head to the gym. Check in with y'all soon. All right, first clip on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Where? <laughs> see, I've, I've never had C4 before. I can't even get this I was just like tearing. There we go. There you go. But about to pre-workout, guys, just taking literally, it's almost 9 p.m., uh, just about a little over a scoop of C4, and uh, then going to hit this workout. We're both kind of tired. Chelsea's been, just want to quick recap, how long at the airport? Almost 12 hours. 12 hours at the airport, so we're pretty exhausted, but uh, I'm just low carb, so <laughs> that's my only excuse. Going to kill it anyway, and uh, here we go. Cheers. All right, what's going on, family? Back at the commentary for you all. And before we get into this, I just want to say thank you to Chelsea uh, for making her way down to Texas. It was definitely not an easy trip. I know the airport she was at, the power went out, and her flights got delayed and pushed back, and she was stuck waiting at the airport. And uh, it was not easy travels. Um, but glad she's here, and we're definitely going to make the most of the collab while we can and uh, record as much as possible. This week's pretty crazy but gonna fit it in and do the best we can. So her channel is gonna be in the description box. Be sure to check it out uh, if you're interested. I think she has a powerlifting competition uh, late January, so she's currently prepping for that and uh, along with a few other projects she's been working on that she's very excited and I'm excited for her about. So check that out. And uh, now let's get on to this workout. 
Um, body weight this morning, as you saw in that clip before, was 164 pounds. So freaking light. Um, crazy light right now. And I kind of like, as soon as I got back from California, my weight was around 168, roughly 167 to 169, kind of fluctuating. And just all of a sudden, I've just been having like 163.8, 164, 164 uh, on my weigh-in days. So um, I'm pretty sure it's just due to dropping my carbs a lot and also increasing my cardio. Um, but keep in mind, guys, that this whole like depletion and aggressive cut, it's not something I recommend. And I really need to reiterate that, that it is, you know, cutting your carbs and doing this. It's not something I recommend uh, unless you maybe like have a very important, I'm not talking about like going to the beach, you know, that's not a super, super important event. I'm talking like something that's going to, that can possibly present new opportunities for yourself, for your future, for your business. And for me, this shoot on Friday is going to be the pictures that are going to be used for the actual stand. So when I'm traveling with Gymshark to Australia and, you know, New Zealand, uh, and UK and Germany, it's going to actually be on the physical stand. So that's why it's very important to me. Um, I just want to be sure that I'm doing everything I possibly can right now, uh, doing everything in my power now to prevent the chance of me looking back three months in the future, four months in the future and, and saying, oh, I could have done better. You know, I could have looked better for that photo shoot if I would have tried harder or if I would have been a little bit more aggressive or if I would have stayed on the Stairmaster an extra 20 minutes every day, you know. So I'm just doing everything I can. And uh, as soon as this shoot is done, I will be increasing my food back uh, to the spot where I'm losing about one pound per week. So uh, that's the game plan. And it's one of those things where like, you sacrifice today for tomorrow's betterment. And when you believe that something can benefit you, it's like you don't just let those opportunities go by and say, oh, well, I'm not lean enough. You know, it's like if I have a week and a half to or a week to get in better shape, I'm going to do everything I can. Um, I'm not going to let someone else take that opportunity away from me. So yeah, that's just my take on that. Here I wanted to show you guys, I was like, be sure you show them the weight because uh, I don't want them to think I'm just like low carb and, you know, lifting excuse my language, but just lifting bitch weight. So I'm um, still lifting as heavy as I could. I'm not hitting failure necessarily, but I am uh, just still trying to push myself. You know, a lot of it's mental. So pushing myself and going as heavy as possible. And here I'm actually saying that this is the very first workout that I got to use my hammer strength front lat pull down machine. So that's technically what it's called. It's not a high row. It's a front lat pull down, uh, the hammer strength front lat pull down. And I like that one a little bit more than the high row. So I compared them both. And uh, here I'm just kind of showing the physique right there. But um, yeah, I loved the machine. The very first set I did uh, both arms at the same time as you're seeing right here. So, you know, focusing on retracting my scapula and squeezing my lats to the bottom and driving and pulling through my elbows, not driving, but you're pulling through your elbows uh, to better engage the lats. So here doing both arms at the same time. And then the next set, I wanted to increase the weight and I really wanted to try to do one arm uh, at the same time so I could get some unilateral work in. And I ended up enjoying that one arm you know, focusing on one arm a lot better than doing them both at the same time. So here's Chelsea bumping up her weight, keeping up. And yeah, definitely very, very strong. Uh, she was telling me how like she has the second, the record for the second place bench press in the, wow, uh, what's the organization? And one of the biggest organizations for the bench press for her weight class. So very, very impressive there. And uh, I know I've seen her bench like 135 with ease for reps. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what her max is. But here, uh, doing two plates and a quarter and going one arm at a time, squeezing as hard as I can. And I uh, just really love this machine. Oh, also, uh, another <laughs> little thing. I purchased my equipment guy. got a hold of a hammer strength incline chest press. Finally, the incline chest press. It's the machine I've been looking for forever. Uh, he got a hold of that and also got a hold of a decline hammer strength press. So uh, at the new facility at the CG headquarters opening up, hopefully December 2014, uh, mid to late December 2014, there's going to be the ha you know tons of hammer strength. I'm going to have the incline, the decline, this row machine, that other row machine in the back, the white one, which you're seeing next to the calf machine. And um, just super excited, guys. So thank you guys so much for following me on this journey. Thank you for watching this video and supporting me clicking the like button leaving a comment um just all of your feedback is always always appreciated guys i read every single comment you know i know i don't respond to all of them i try my best um between everything but i do read them i want to hear your feedback i want to know what you have to say you know 
just leave it, <laughs> you know. Um, I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Uh, finishing off with some curls, or at least the video with some curls. And be sure to stick around. Chelsea's channel is in the description. And more footage is coming very, very soon. Just trying to make an imprint on the game.